Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I subtract positive and negative decimals? First, let's review subtracting integer rules. So subtracting decimals are gonna follow the same rules as subtracting integers. So to subtract, we will just add the opposite of the second number by keeping the sign of the first number, changing the subtraction to addition, and then change the sign of the second number and we'll follow addition rules after that. So to subtract decimals specifically, we first need to write the decimal so that the decimal points line up vertically. Then we will subtract using the subtracting integers rules. And then we will place the decimal point in the answer so that it lines up vertically with the decimal points in the problem. So first thing we're gonna do is figure out the rules. We will add the opposite and then we will line it up and continue subtracting. So this first one I have 12.6 minus 8.2. So I'm going to keep change change or think of it as adding the opposite here. And now I have two different signs. So I am going to subtract. I'm going to subtract and then my final answer will be positive since the absolute value of 12.6 is larger than 8.2. So I need to do 12.6 minus 8.2. So let me line that up. And now I'm just going to subtract 12.6 minus 8.2. So six minus two is four. I'm gonna bring down the decimal point and then I need to borrow 12 minus eight is four. So it was a positive since the 12.6 was larger absolute value. So my final answer here is 4.4. Okay, let's look at number two. I want to add the opposite. Keep change change. So these have different signs. I have a positive and a negative here, so I will end up subtracting. And then my answer is going to be negative here since the absolute value of 8.9 is larger than 3.21. So let's go ahead and subtract these. I'm going to do 8.9 minus 3.21, and I'm gonna add a zero here so that my decimals line up. Looks like I'll need to borrow to start this out. So 10 minus one is nine, and then eight minus two is six. We'll bring down the decimal point, and eight minus three is five. And then my final answer is gonna be negative since the absolute value of 8.9 was larger. So the final answer is negative 5.69. Okay, let's look at number three. I have negative 102.4 minus 78.04. So I'm going to add the opposite. And these have the same signs. So I will add these together. And then my final answer will be negative since both of these were negative. So I'm gonna treat this as an addition problem and then just add them together. So one, 2.4 plus 78.04. So I'm going to add a zero to the 102.4 to help me with my place values. So zero plus four is four. Four plus zero is four. We'll bring down the decimal. Two plus eight is 10. We'll carry that. One plus zero plus seven is eight. And then I bring down the one. And remember this final answer was negative since both of them were negative. So the final answer is negative 180.44. All right, let's look at number four. So I'm gonna change this to addition. I will keep change change. And I end up getting negative two 0.9 plus a positive 1.8, or you could just think of it as plus 1.8. So these have different signs, so I'm going to end up subtracting, and it looks like my final answer will be negative, since the absolute value of 2.9 is larger than 1.8. So we'll subtract and then make our final answer negative. So let's line these up. 
2.9 minus 1.8. 9 minus 8 is 1. I'll bring down the decimal. 2 minus 1 is 1, and then I make my final answer negative. So the final answer is negative 1.1. Okay, let's look at number five. I'm going to keep change, change. So this will be adding a negative. So these have different signs. So I'm going to subtract. And then it looks like my final answer will be negative since negative 700 has a larger absolute value than 40.3. So let's go ahead and subtract. So 700 minus 40.3. I'm going to add a 0, 0.0 at the end of the 700 to help me with place value. Okay, looks like I have lots of borrowing going on at the top. I'll change this to a 6, that to a 10, 9, 10, 9. Okay, now 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. And then I'll bring down the 6 and bring down the decimal. And then remember this was negative since the absolute value of 700 was larger. So we're gonna get negative 659.7 for the final answer. All right, let's look at number six. I need to keep change, change. So I end up getting 2.56 plus 4.01. These have the same signs, so I will add them together, and then my final answer will be positive, since these are both positive. So we're going to do 2.56 plus 4.01. 6 plus 1 is 7, 5 plus 0 is 5, we'll bring down the decimal, and 2 plus 4 is 6 and this was positive. So the final answer is 6.57. All right, let's look at number seven. It says the temperature is currently 91 degrees. The next three hours it drops 5.3 degrees, rises 7.9 degrees, and then drops another 10.1 degrees. What is the temperature at the end of the three hours? So it seems like we have some up and down going on. So we're gonna do some addition and some subtraction. So let's read through the problem and see if we can figure it out. So it's currently at 91, then it's going to drop 5.3. So we'll have to subtract. Then it rises 7.9, so we'll have to add. And then it drops again, so we'll have to subtract. So we're gonna start with 91, drops 5.3, and then we'll add 7.9 for rising, and then subtract 10.1. So let's just do this one at a time. The first thing I'm gonna do is 91 minus 5.3. I'm going to change this 91 to a 91.0 to help me with the subtraction, and it looks like I'll need to borrow 10 minus 3 is 7. I need to borrow again. 10 minus 5 is 5, and I bring down the 8. Okay, so we did the 91 minus 5.3. Now we're going to add 7.9 to this. 7 plus 9 is 16. I'll carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9, or 1 plus 8 is 9. So I get 93.6. And now I need to subtract 10.1. So 6 minus 1 is 5. We'll bring down the decimal. 3 minus 0 is 3. And 9 minus 1 is 8. So I get 83.5 degrees for the temperature after 3 hours. All right, let's look at number eight. It says the table shows the amount of money that Brooke is going to spend at the movies. If she paid with a $20 bill, how much money did she get back? So she has $20 and then we will subtract $12.50 for the movie, subtract $4 for the Coke and then subtract $2.50 for the candy. So just like the last problem, let's just work through these one at a time. So I'm gonna start with 20 and I need to subtract 1250 from it. 
I'm gonna add two zeros at the end of the 20 to help me with my place values. And it looks like I have a lot of borrowing to do. 10, change that to a nine. Okay, so 10 minus All right, let's look at number eight. It says the table shows the amount of money that Brooke is going to spend at the movies. If she paid with a $20 bill, how much change did she get back? So she started with 20 and then she subtracted the ticket cost, the coat cost, and the candy cost. So just like the last problem, I'm going to just subtract each one of these at a time. So let's start with 20 minus 1250 for the ticket. And I'm gonna add 0 0.00 to the 20 to help me with the place values. So zero minus zero is zero. And then I have zero minus five, I'm gonna have to borrow, change the 10 to a nine. Okay, 10 minus five is five, bring down the decimal, nine minus two is seven, and then one minus one is zero. So 750 is left after she buys the ticket. Now let's subtract the Coke, $4, Zero minus zero is zero, five minus five is five, bring down the decimal point, and seven minus four is three. Okay, then I have to subtract out the candy of 250. Zero minus zero is zero, five minus five is zero, and then three minus two is one. So it looks like after Brooke bought the ticket, the Coke, and the candy, she had one dollar left.